Hi guys! In this video, I'm going to discuss on theorems on rhombus. Theorem number one. The diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. So we have here rhombus RDAO. So its diagonals are perpendicular, so we can say that diagonal RA here and OD are perpendicular. So we're going to have line segment RA is perpendicular to line segment OD. So it means that the angles here that is being formed are 90 degrees. So this will be 90, this is 90, this is 90 here, and this is also 90 degrees. Number two, each diagonal of a rhombus bisects opposite angles. So if we're going to have diagonal SA here, and diagonal RO so this diagonal divides these two angles angle 1 and angle 2 into two congruent angles we can have measure of angle 1 will be equal to measure of angle 2 and measure of angle 3 will be equal to measure of angle 4 and if we're going to have diagonal SA we can say that measure of angle R is A, this angle here, is just equal to the measure of angle O S A, this angle here. Then below, we're going to have the measure of angle R A S, it's just equal to the measure of angle O A S. Letter A. If measure of angle 1 is 21, what is the measure of angle 2? Since measure of angle 1 is equal to measure of angle 2, so this is 21 here, so we can have measure of angle 2 as 21 degrees. Now, if measure of angle 3 is equal to 25, what is the measure of angle 4? So if this is 25 here, it means that angle 4 here is also 25. Then, if measure of angle R, S, a is equal to 62 degrees. This is 62 here. What is the measure of angle OSA? Measure of angle 1, measure of angle 2, measure of angle 3, measure of angle 4, measure of angle OAS, measure of angle RAS, measure of angle ARS, measure of angle RSO, measure of angle SOA, and measure of angle OAR. Now, if this is 62 here, this means that this is also 62. So we can have measure of angle OSA equals 62 degrees. Now, if we're going to add the 2 here, 62 plus 62, that will be 124. So measure of angle OSR or RSO will be equal to 100. 24 degrees. So if this is 124 degrees here, this means that its uh, consecutive angle, angle O, will be equal to 180 minus 124. So measure of angle SOA here will be 180. Angle SOA, 180 minus 124, that will be 56 degrees. If this is 56 here, and it is being divided by 2, we can say that measure of angle 3 will be 56 divided by 2 and that will be equal to 28 degrees. So measure of angle 3 is concurrent to measure of angle 4, so measure of angle 4 will be equal to 28 degrees. Since measure of angle SOA here is 56, so its opposite will be also 56, so we can have measure of angle ARS equal to 56 degrees. And this is 56 here, so we can have measure of angle 1 equals 56 divided by 2, that will be 28 degrees. Measure of angle 2 will also be 28 degrees. In here, measure of angle RAO or O 
AR. This is just the same with the measure of angle RSO. So you can say that measure of angle OAR is also 124 degrees. And measure of angle RAS will be the same with RSA. So we can have the measure of angle RAS equals 62 degrees. And lastly, the measure of angle OAS will be also equal to 62 degrees. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions about the topic, please comment down below and see you next time.